You guys asked for it, so I went ahead and decided to do another 1 million MT giveaway for the month of February. All you guys have to do to enter is use code BIO2K at checkout at NBA2King.com. Once you guys do that, just be sure to send it to me on Twitter in the DM so I know that you are entered into the giveaway. They also walk you through on the site to potentially how to avoid a ban, so be sure to check that out as well when you guys are posting your cards. So obviously season five has been off to, I think, a pretty good start, I would say the least. Now, don't get me wrong. The gameplay has still been really bad. However, at least the content is actually going back to what we want. And that does involve cars that you guys need to go ahead and get here in my team. Now, not only are we going to be talking about rewards cards, but we're going to be talking about some budget cards that I really think you guys should be picking up here in this season. Cards that are going to be able to compete with some of the best cards in the game that don't go for nearly as much. If you guys enjoy this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get into the video. And right away, the first one I'm going to be talking about, guys, is going to be uh, good old Mike Bantam on Triple Threat Online. Obviously, if you guys have played this game so far, you guys know this card is really good, guys. Okay, like, it's actually kind of nice in a weird way, I, I have to say. It is definitely nice in a very weird way to go back to what I feel like we used to get in my team. And that was just the RNG cards that were really good, but they were RNG. And it's weird because we used to complain about them, and now we all wanted them back just because I feel like it brings a fun element to the game. But Mike Bantam is really good, guys. You guys need to go ahead and pick him up. He is a lockdown card, but also he's going to be able to kind of shoot the ball for you and just be a good finisher in this game for you as he does have a 97 driving dunk. And again, this is a free card you guys are going to be able to get through grinding triple threat online. Again, he has everything you need on a card and he is free. And free is for me, and I'm sure free is for you guys as well. So as a 6'9 small forward slash power forward or vice versa, um, he is obviously really good and definitely well worth going for. You guys also do want to be kind of paying attention and trying to go after uh, Billy Knight. Billy Knight, again, another really good card. He is in the triple threat online vault or triple threat offline vault, excuse me. He is really good, guys. Again, shooting guard, small forward. Again, you would most likely be playing him at the two. 92 three ball, 95 driving dunk, good ball handling. Decent defense. I mean, well, not de decent. He's actually really good. 93 steel, 93 perimeter. Good rebounding. 95 speed, 95 uh, lateral quickness as well. Going into his badges, again, same thing. His badges are really good as well. Now, the thing about why I, these guys are so important to get is that they also have a duo. And these guys are definitely, like, good enough to run together on the floor. Normally, you get the points in you know with duos and everything where you don't want to use them because they're not good but these guys are actually really good separately so when you put them together they get even better hey guys if you guys need any online or offline grinding be sure to hit up rose nba the link to his twitter will be in the description down below 100 legit and reliable so be sure to go hit him up now this Radiant set is also filled with a lot of really good budget cards that I think do get kind of overlooked a little bit just because of some of the other cards in the game. First one I want to talk about is Mikel Bridges. I mean, you guys can see he's going for 40k and under. Obviously, his price is going to drop the more that we do scroll, or maybe not. <laughs> it did take a little bit of a jump there, but all jokes aside, I love Bridges in real life, and you guys know I love him in 2k as well. 93 three ball, 90 driving dunk, and then obviously he's going to come with that lockdown defense. 63 block, I feel like, is a little disrespectful for him, but 98 steel, 97 perimeter, 92 interior, does not matter. 92 speed, 97 lateral quickness, and then again, you guys do have the badges where he is going to be clamping down, but he also comes with really good offensive badges as well, and that is going to be really important in my opinion, but really the way to succeed in this game is by having a card go out and just play defense for you. I know it sounds really bad to say, but even if you're, you're somebody that likes to on ball, that is fine because if you put Bridges off ball, he's going to jump passing lanes for you and get you a lot of easy stops, which is going to help you guys out a lot. Also in this set, though, kind of the same thing, which is why I want to talk about him right afterwards, is going to be Pascal Siakam. Same thing. You guys can run him probably at the three. I mean, you obviously, if you want to, you can run him at the four. But even at the three, Pascal is going to be really good for you guys. 93, 90 driving dunk. 86 ball control and then again that defense the rebounding the speed it's all going to be there for you guys and same thing like i was just talking about bridges he's going to be annoying he is going to jump passing lanes for you and he is going to be really just he's going to be really helpful i mean even having hall of fame anchor if somebody goes into the paint he's going to be swatting it back too so overall these two guys just to start 
are going to be really good for you guys. And that's why I want to talk about them first. These guys are opals, but they are really cheap and they are definitely well worth picking up. And there's really no way you guys should overlook them. Even a guy like Nicholas Batum, again, he's a budget option of even more of those guys. He's super solid as well. I mean, he may not be as good, but his stats are still really nice. 93 ball, 85 driving dunk. Again, 90 ball control. Good, uh, good uh, defensive stats, good rebounding, 90 speed, 93 lateral quickness. And then again, you look at the badges. Same thing, guys. Blinders, clamp breaker, quick first step, anchor, challenger, uh, clamps, interceptor, glove. Overall, like these cards are really good and don't get it twisted just because they're pink diamonds does not mean they are not better than a lot of the opals in this game. Final card I want to talk about though in this set, Denny Advia. Okay, this card goes for a decent amount for a reason. He's a 6'9 point guard. He's a budget guy that comes with a 93 ball, 85 driving dunk, 86 ball control. Decent defense, could be a little bit better. 90 speed and 88 lateral quickness. But again, it's his badges as well that are solid. He comes with bully, posterizer, um, catch and shoot, clamp breaker, handles, quick first step, clamps, and then a ton of gold, gold badges that you guys would need. Gold badges and Hall of Fame badges, obviously there is a difference, but it's not going to be anything crazy to where you guys won't, that you guys will really notice it. Like, he has every badge that you basically need. Like, you might be missing a few of them, but overall, like, his badges are good, and this card is actually really good for the value he does go for. This all-star set is also really good as well, guys. I mean, a guy like Drew Holiday, this is a card that I've talked about in the past. There is really no reason to overlook this card. The badges he comes with, again, the stats he comes with, he is everything you guys are going to need in a budget point guard. If you guys are trying to decide between Denny and Drew, call me crazy. I'm actually taking Drew Holiday, and the reason why is because of the tendencies that this Drew has. He just is one of those cards in this game that it's like I said about Bridges. He's just going to be annoying. He's going to jump lanes for it by himself. If your opponent runs up on you, he's going to just push strip the ball out of their hands. He is going to be a really solid card that you guys need. And he really doesn't go for all that much on the auction house. Again, under 40K is really good for one of the best Opal point guards in this game. And again, we are in December, guys. Or <laughs> December. We are at the end of February. So going into March... Like the best cards in the game right now are still galaxy opals and then those little bit of dark matters that are on the market so if you think about it a 97 should be going for a lot more than what he is but he is cheap and he is definitely worth picking up if you guys like your point guards a little bit taller and maybe you guys don't like denny tyrese halliburton another really good card in this game that i think still does get overlooked a little bit Again, maybe it is because he dropped with Drew, but overall, Halliburton is still really solid and definitely a card that, again, should not be overlooked. Now, we're talking about some big men, actually, really quick, and we're going to talk about one more guard here. It's Shea. It was always Shea. He's going for a little bit more, but I just want to add him in here because he is still really solid. But Jaron Jackson Jr., guys, I love this card as a budget card. He's a little bit more expensive than some of these other guys, but still sitting at around 50 to 55K. There's really no reason why you guys should be overlooking this card. Again, he is a guy that has the length pause, but he has the length to be able to block a lot of shots. He rebounds the ball in this game, and he can stretch the floor, which is basically what a lot of people like and need in this game. I mean, 88-3 before the coach. Um, 90 driving dunk. Again, 98 block, 98 interior, 90 perimeter, which is really good. And then again, the rebounding, the speed is there. Overall, again, a really good budget card that you guys can go ahead and pick up in this game. These sets are filled with these cards, but those are honestly my favorite ones that I think you guys can go ahead and get. In alternate reality, I've talked about this, guys. Amari Stoudemire. That is Chris Paul. Amari Stoudemire is a really solid card as well. I like him because he can finish around the rim a lot, but also he rebounds and, again, plays really good defense. So just another good, really solid budget card that you guys can pick up for really cheap. I'm telling you guys, there is a lot of cards in this game, guys, that are going to be dropping over the next couple weeks that we are going to be getting that are going to be cheap and that are going to be really solid. Again, these do reset, I believe. It should tell you, yeah, until March 17th. So you guys have a couple more weeks, but I don't think that that's the end of the season. I mean, 38 days left. Yeah, no. So we are going to be getting another card, obviously, in the uh, vault and everything. So when these cards drop, guys, be sure to stay tuned because they're going to be really good and they're going to help you guys out a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, peace.